So Habit is the first personalized nutrition company uh, from what we call test to table. And it's based on this idea, and I'll ask the question, how many of you have ever gone on paleo, uh, plant-based? Come on, you're in LA. How many of you suck down a shake every day? Drink green juice? All right, well, I want participation on this next one. How many of you have ever asked the question, what food is right for me? It is literally a universal question, and it carries us back to the dawn of time. You know, had uh, uh, Adam and Eve, if Eve had known, you know, what the right fruit she was eating from the right tree, we would have saved ourselves from going into disarray. But literally, so this idea, I mean, this idea of what food is right for us has been with us forever. And, um, and yet we've never really had a clear answer to the question. And I love the creative team that did all of the posters and stuff, because I have a talk. I didn't bring it here today. But uh, I walked through the history of, of diets and eating. And one of those posters literally has many of the slides. It's beautiful. And um, genius business development, by the way. I mean, we're we're going to do something here. Um, <laughs> But literally, we oscillate between five to six different ways of eating throughout the centuries. And that oscillation is increasing at a rapid pace over the last 20, 30 years. The one thing that we haven't gotten right within them, and there's a lot of wisdom throughout, you know, throughout the centuries, the one thing we haven't got right is that we've always taken a one-size-fits-all approach. And if you look around this room and you ask if we all should be eating the same food in the same way at the same time, intuitively you would say no. And what's really exciting is science now backs up that intuition. So the way we tap into that, uh, we believe that there's a roadmap to your well-being that lives inside of each one of you. Uh, in the modern age, we've kind of lost the ability to listen and tune in to the signals our body's giving us. So that's where we bring science in. So we look at 60 different biomarkers. We look at DNA, blood work. We have this metabolic milkshake, that's what we call it. And this thing is a, is a bit of a doozy. It's, a, it's literally a challenge to your metabolism. 950 calories, high fat, high sugar. You drink this thing, it's kind of like a McDonald's milkshake. You drink this thing, we take your blood beforehand and then twice afterwards, and we literally track how you process fats, carbs, and proteins in real time. We take all of that. So then if you ever you know, run across someone at a cocktail party that's like, oh, I'm on a high fat, you know, low carb, blah, 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 and you're like, awesome, you know, I'm eating to my biology, right? Um, so you can just little one up them on that. But, um, <laughs> but you know, at the end of the day, like all these different biomarkers, you know, say so many things about us, right? And there's also that like human interest story, like this is you. This is not pulling a diet book off the New York Times bestseller list. This is you, all right? So you have an opportunity to kind of live into the, uh, your optimal potential and what your body's saying. So we do this, and then two weeks later, we get you a digital dashboard. Uh, on the far left-hand side, we give you your biology and all the results of your tests, but it's in, in a designed, user-intuitive, framework. And in the middle there, that's actually your nutrition blueprint that's personalized just for you. It's, uh, we call it a personalized food philosophy. And it has a bunch of different components to it. Um, but you can see over here, like this one is about implications around how someone processes carbohydrates. right? So it gets pretty detailed. And you can actually drill all the way down to the blood marker or the gene that actually triggered that recommendation. So if you want to geek out on it, you can go down the rabbit hole. If you want to just get the, OK, I don't process fats well, you can stop there, and it's all good.